Welcome back to another Kim's Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a number of other things. Might be doing some fishing. I know I'm about to do an unboxing on the giveaway I won. Well, I'm just going to be doing a few different things. Make sure y'all stay tuned. I don't exactly know everything I'm going to do. Might go fishing, like I said. Might go to Walmart, pick up some tackle. I don't know, but we'll see. But right now, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this MTB Pro I won from Grand Lake Bass Hunter. If y'all don't know who Grand Lake Bass Hunter is, make sure y'all go check out his channel. He has a great channel. First link in the description. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got in here. I've done took the tape off of here so it would be easier to um, open so it wouldn't take so long on camera. I'm not trying to take up too much time unboxing this because I got other things I want to do in this video. But yeah. So, first thing I see when I open it up here is a hat. And this was his 500 subscriber giveaway, by the way. And it's got Grand Lake Bass Hunter on it, his signature. But yeah, I put that over there. Might Y'all might see me wearing that in some future videos. And the uh, first bait I see in here is the um, KVD um, square bill and chartreuse black back. Yeah, black back chartreuse. So definitely good bait right there. I'll definitely be using this. I have some other KVD square bills, but just not in that color. Um, this is the KVD Poppin' Perch. I've heard a lot about this bait, um, I've never picked one up myself, so this is gonna be the first one for me. Um, so we're gonna see how it works out, maybe I can do a review on it. Um, these retail for about eight to nine dollars in Walmart, so, yeah, really nice bait right there. Next thing we got in here are some cream lures, and these look like just minnows with a, um, with a, um, jig head. Yeah. So really nice looking baits right there. Might catch some warm mouth and crappy on them. Okay, then we got some yum swimming dangers in watermelon red flake. Really nice color right there. I've been meaning to pick up some swimming dangers. Um I don't know what how do y'all guys think I should rig these Texas rigged? Um, or wacky rig. I'll probably still wacky rig them, even though they got a paddle tail. They'll probably have still have a great action. I don't know. I'll get to use them here soon. And next, we got some cherry seed six inch lizards. I love the zoom lizard. I have a bunch of packs of them, but I don't have this color, so I'm glad I got these. And this is in the cherry seed. It's like red with a black flake. It'll be good in clear water. Probably in stained water too. Really good looking color. And last but not least, we have some four alt gamagatsu offset offset shank worm hook. Some really nice looking hoops right there. But yeah, that was a quick little unboxing. As you can see, that's all that's in the box. But yeah, that was just a little quick unboxing. Um, of a giveaway I won from him. It was a really nice giveaway. Um, make sure y'all go check out his channel. I'm just going to show y'all all the stuff I won here. Let me just get it all set up here. And if I had to say my favorite thing out of this whole package, it would probably be the Poppin' Perch or the KVD um, Square Bill. I like the hooks too. They don't sell these kind of hooks at my Walmart, and that Walmart is basically the only place to get, to get tackle around where I live. There's a few tackle shops, but most of them's overpriced. Well, some of them is. Some of them I get really great, good prices because I'm a um, I'm a younger fisherman. But yeah, um, I might be about to go fishing, so if so, y'all will see that now. If not, I'm gonna add in some clips of some fish I caught um when I went fishing yesterday and the um other week. So, yeah. If, you're new, if you are a new subscriber to my channel, you don't pro you probably don't know what this is right here. Well, you know what it is. It's a pond, but it's my private pond. This is my pond. It's not very big. I stay right there in that blue house. But, yeah, this is my private pond. It's full of fish. As y'all can see, when I throw them pieces of bread in there, the brim flocked to them. And there's a couple nice bass in here that I've caught over the years and stocked it with. I caught a seven pound nine ounce bass. I put it in this pond. I caught a five, well actually two fives and put them in here. I think one of them died though because I haven't seen him in a while. There goes a piece of bread right there. The 
fish are wanting to come up and get it. But yeah, and then I got a couple two and three pounders in here. And there goes about, look like about a three or four pound bass right there. When I throw these pieces of bread in here, the bass hunt off of them. As y'all can see that swirl right there, a bass just came through there and tried to eat one of the little fish. When the little fish go up to eat the bread, the bass come and hunt them and try to eat them. So I like to do this every once in a while. It gives a bat, the, but there goes about a big, big bass. I don't know if y'all can see him there, but he's right. I can't zoom in on this camera. I got it set where I can't zoom in, but he's pretty deep. I highly doubt y'all can see him, but my pond's uh, primarily clear and there's a bass. He looks to be about one of the five pounders. I don't think he's a seven pounder. A five pounder. And I have a lot of 12 inches in here. I don't know whether y'all can see him, but he's coming over them trees right there. If I'm going to try to get him on camera. Y'all can't see him because of the glare of the water, but if I don't go fishing today, I'll add some clips in where I caught some fish and released them at the end of this video. But I don't know what I'm going to do right now. Might go to Walmart this evening and look at the tackle, pick up some things. Really don't know. There's a bass swimming across there, but yeah, I just wanted to add this in. Okay, so I just caught this snapping turtle out of my pond, and I'm about to transport him to a ditch where he can live because I don't want him in my pond because he eats a lot of meat. So I'm about to put him in this old cooler, and I'm going to transport him over there. He can't climb out of there, and it's got this long thing where I can just pull it, and I don't have to tote him in a bucket because I don't want to get bit by a snapping turtle. Because this is a really big snapping turtle. Well, you know, average size, average size snapping turtle. I'm seeing them bigger. But right now I'm just going to grab his tail. Take him and keep him far away from your body. I've never been bitten by a snapping turtle. But I imagine it's not the best feeling in the world. It's really hard to get them to let go when they do bite. Because I was letting him bite a stick. I put a stick up to his mouth a while ago and let him bite it. And I uh, caught the devil trying to get him to let go of that. But yeah, I'm about to go over here, get to the ditch, and I'll get back to y'all when I'll release him in the ditch. There goes Mr. Snapping Turtle off into the ditch. He's going down through the water. It gets deeper down there when it goes around this corner. But I didn't want to walk all the way down there because it's really thick through here. And I didn't want to run into anything like a snake, bee's nest, or anything like that. He's heading down through the ditch now. As y'all can see, he's right there. I think he'll like this new home. It's got plenty of minnows, crawfish, all kind of things for him to eat. Um, he's kind of disappearing now. He's about to go around the corner there. And there's a big pond. Another, another person has a pond on the other side of these woods. Maybe if he don't like this ditch, he'll go and go into that pond. Because that man, he really don't fish in his pond. He just got it to have it. Because I, I went over there and asked him, uh, could I fish in it? He said he didn't let nobody fish in it. And he don't fish in it himself, I don't think. So, shouldn't have no problem with turtles living in it. So, maybe he'll go there and not come back to my pond. But, yeah, he's just now, he's just down there at the end. Set now, so. Yeah, this is turning into like a type... This video is turning into like a vloggish type video, which I figured it was. So the title will be vlog something something. It'll have vlog in it. But yeah. Well, right now it's really overcast and over overcast, overcast and cloudy. Um, I don't really want to walk to the fishing spot because it might start raining and lightning and thundering. So maybe tomorrow, but it does supposed to rain tomorrow too. It's supposed to rain today too, but. Yeah, yeah, I'm heading back to my house right now. Uh, I got probably about a five minute walk. This ditch is a really long way from my house. But yeah, get back to y'all. Okay, so guys, this is the new way I've started storing my tackle. This is a, I forgot what the name of it is, but it's basically a big container with things that slide out and in. And um, I started storing my tackle in here. I got all my soft plastics in the bottom. And these are all soft plastics. Got all kinds down here. Some creature baits. Uh, these are some baby D bombs and hard candy. Or I forgot the name of the color. That's irrelevant right now. I got all the baits in here: creature baits, worm baits, trick worms, top water frogs. What I do is the night before I'm going fishing, I come in here and pick out what I'm gonna take with me, or I just load it all into my tackle bag. It's according to where I'm going or what I'm fishing for. 
But yeah, that's all my soft plastics. Well, this isn't all my soft plastics. This is just some of them that I've used. Uh, here's the tackle I haven't never used. Um, that hasn't been used. This is all my steel new tackle. I got all kind of stuff in here. Crankbaits, rubber worms, wiggly warps, swim baits. I got some Gary Yamamoto's, Rage. Rages, hooks. I got a lot of stuff in here. Um, and there's some stuff in here that I've used and just put back in the package. I've used this right here at the beginning of the year in like May. Yeah, about May. I caught a nice two pounder or about a three pound bass out of a pond. I don't know if I did a video on it, but yeah, I caught a nice bass on that. And then my so that's where my soft plastics goes. That's new baits that I haven't used or I've used it a few times and I put it back in the package. This right here is all my sponsored stuff that I got sent for free or I paid for with a big discount. This right here is all Magic Bait. If y'all hadn't seen that unboxing of the Magic Bait they sent me for free, I'll link it down in the description below. I got some Primo Blood Super Stinky Bait. Well, no, not stinky, sticky. But yeah, I got some uh, TTG Lures, Ketchum Lures right there. Ketchum Lures Lizards. I got some Senkos by Ketchum Lures. Some more TTG Lures. And then right here I keep um, my Berkeley County Bass Boys Lures. I meant my Berkeley County Bass Boys Soft Plastics. I keep those in there. But yeah, this is just how I store my tackle. Um, I figured I'd just show y'all this so I wouldn't have to do a whole video on it. I should be going catfishing sometime if if it quits if it uh, we get a clear day a clear sunny day I will be going catfishing this week and I'm gonna try out some of this catfish bait I got a whole bunch of it got some catfish hooks I got all kind of stuff they sent me some bluegill bait this this stuff right here actually works it works really well I've caught a ton of bluegill on it already I've done opened up a pack uh, as y'all can see right here this is a little tackle box I took fishing with me yesterday and I got some some of it right there you can see i've used about a half a thing and these things be full of uh, magic bait so you don't have to worry about running out one package is enough to catch a good amount of bluegills and the reason i got that tape across there is because when i cut the package open i cut the package well uh, when i got it out the package i cut the package open the big box that they were in and i cut across here so i just taped it back up because it doesn't smell the best in the world and then I got some just random stuff over here, catfish, bubblegum, bait mate. This is just like my work table. Well, not work table, but I don't know what you'd call it. I went fishing, uh, what's the day? I went fishing Monday. Today's Wednesday. Um, but yeah, I didn't catch really much. I did catch some nice bass, which I'll add them into the video right now. I caught two nice bass. I'll put the video of me releasing them in the, right, in the uh, video right now. So yeah, those were two nice bass. I caught them on the Whopper Plopper, um, the Whopper Plopper um, 90, and I uh, had a humongous bowfin. If y'all don't know what a bowfin is, look it up on Google, but I had a bowfin that was probably about 10, 11 pounds, and the only thing that had him was the back hook, and it bent out and he got off. If I'd have had a net, I could have landed the fish, which I'll be getting net here really, really soon, that taught me a lesson I need a net but yeah and another thing is um so I won't lose this whopper plopper in the future I went and picked up some wire leaders so that should help but yeah I just wanted to kind of show y'all this add a little bit to the video we should be going to go check my P.O. box I should have some mail in there from some people but yeah um hopefully it's there and I can do an unboxing on it who knows but yeah